a director like Kevin Smith who really knows Superman because I, I've heard before they've had other directors in mind, Tim Burton or somebody, yes. who, who I've seen concept sketches of Superman wearing all black and his S was silver and he didn't have a cape and that's not Superman. That's not Superman. It yeah. never has been. They need a director that understands the character and knows what he's all about. I do agree with Tony. You know, I think at least he should be on the set and say, hey, this is this and you, know, you shouldn't be doing that and you, you should be the creative consultant exactly like that. exactly not to hype this up too much i just read that i believe it was mark millar has signed like a six or nine deal with warner brothers and the new superman series and that's a, that's a comic book guy so i'm i'm pretty sure he knows very well the mythology of superman of course un, unfortunately mikey he'll have lex luther in there <laughs> but i know he'll probably use brainiac and oh and let's not forget the one that just said superman off his, his goofy little villain, which I would really like to see, Mr. Mixerfoot. I really want to see a little poor imp guy just make Superman think him out and make him say it. I mean, even if it's for like 30 minutes in a movie, mm. I would really like to see that. I know I won't get my wish about the Lex Luthor thing, but <laughs> he's the main Superman yeah, baddie. Is, even if you have Lex Luthor in the movie, at least put some other villains in there. Mm. It gets a little tiring. Even yeah. drag the Joker over from the fucking Batman series and have Batman and Superman work together for a change. Uh, a world's finest. Yeah, yeah. That would mm -hmm. work too. That yeah. would work. I'd love to see something like that too because I was impressed with the cartoon movie that they did of Superman and Batman together yeah. where the Joker comes really and good. Joker and Lex Luthor were working together. But I won't get my wish. So. <laughs> but that, I think that's what they need is, is like a team up. I think a really good team up would be Lex Luthor and Bizarro. Another good team up would be Lex Luthor and Metallo because he, he has teamed up with these characters before. In fact, he even created Bizarro. Nuclear Man is is it basically just a poor man's bizarro? They could have they could have done that a lot better. They let Lex Luthor in jail for a few movies and just let it go. You know, just give it up on Lex Luthor for a while. Let us enjoy other villains. Even create the fucking Justice League in the fucking you know movies too. I'd actually enjoy that too. We're we're not the ones that write the shit. We need to get rid of some of these old farts in. Hollywood who do write this shit. I'm tired of seeing it. It's not right to us. We're the fans. We should be the one that decides who writes them and who doesn't write them. You I, know? Would, I would love to be a test audience for a movie for once. And it's always out in California. Well, how, why is the California and right. Arizona people New York, yeah. in New York letting us know what we want when it clearly isn't what we want. Right. Yeah. Every region in the United States is different. Yeah. What may work good here may not work so good somewhere else. Mm -hmm. yeah. With Justice League, they should learn from Marvel and do what Marvel's doing. You know, Marvel you know, made Iron Man and made Hulk, and they're going to make it eventually make an Avengers movie and that's that's what they should do with DC they should they should make a new Superman a Wonder Woman a Flash a Green Lantern Green Lantern is scheduled to be filmed later this year after the, all these movies are done just make a Justice League movie which would be awesome oh yeah well see DC I don't think DC smart enough as Marvel to do that shit they only released two movies in franchise and that was Superman and Batman and Marvel has done more than DC has DC would actually get a brain they actually started doing it more, the, more of their characters. I mean, they're doing it in the animated series and shit, yeah, sure. but that's, you know, that's it. They've only, what, come out with three animated movies already? With three, uh, or four, three, yeah. or four. three or four animated movies already, and that's it. What has Marvel been doing? Marvel's got the their animated series, which has released a lot more, and they got the regular movie series, too. I mean, but what's going with, with Marvel versus DC, Marvel's actually can sort of control their own destiny. DC isn't entity of Time Warner. They're really on one of the back burners where they can't really say, well, we want to do this, we want to do that. Time Warner's got to say, uh-uh. Time Warner's got shareholders and stockholders that they've got, got to worry about. But that's the problem with being an entity in one whole big corporate thing. That's the downfall of DC, unfortunately. I know they want to do a Green Lantern one and film it later in September this year. I know they've got Jonah Hex slated, yeah. which is a character far, far away, <laughs> all that stuff. He's like a cowboy. I think Josh Brolin's tapped to play him. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah. But, you know, and I know that there was a talk to have a Teen Titan live action movie, which would have been really cool. I know there's been talks for years of Wonder Woman with Megan Fox being <laughs> the last one to be rumored to play Wonder Woman. But I, I honestly don't think DC being part of Warner Brothers and Time Warner actually has enough judgment on their own, which unfortunately just hurts them more and more. Mm -hmm. Well, 
I would figure with the success of The Dark Knight, with as much as it's made, I would figure that they would automatically say, hey, you know what, this made this much money, let's go and start making some more DC movies. But they're not going to do that. Even though this made them a big amount of money, they don't really care. It's like comics are like on the back burners for everything. Well, it's a shame though, it's got to be like that with comic books and horror movies and yeah. all the other stuff we, we like watching. So if they would do that more often with the kind of stuff that we watch, the kind of stuff that we read and everything else, then they'd actually make a good profit. It's never going to change. I think it is changing now because if you look back, they didn't have these kind of comic book movies. And, and now that our generation is is becoming leaders in, in, the, in the movie industry, we're getting to see movies that we want to see. I think eventually, you know, it's not quite there yet, but eventually we'll get to where the movies are our movies. Or these are the, these are movies that we like because eventually we'll, our age people will be up in the executive levels, and you know these old farts are going to die off, <laughs> and, and we'll have new people eventually yeah. in there. Exactly, like Dark Knight Returns. Uh, that was good. I mean, that was brilliant. Just yeah. the way that was made. Why can't, you know, there needs to be a Superman movie like that. Right. That just takes it all back to the beginning, makes it more about the character itself. I actually think we were a little bit lucky with Superman Returns because I heard rumor that it was going to be directed by Brett Ratner. I read every X-Men comic book twice. <laughs> Which I think would have been a worse movie than what Brian Singer would have done, but maybe that's what it needed. A Superman needed to, to it has to get bad before it can get better, before yeah. it can rise up. So that's what's uh, that's what it's always is. But you said Brett Ratner. Ironically enough, it was Brett Ratner that directed X Men Three. Yeah. <laughs> You didn't like that, but I really liked X-Men 3. I mean, and the first two X-Men was directed by Brian Singer, which they were all right and some good parts here and there, but nothing for me, but X-Men 3 for me just was it. I'm totally opposite on you. I thought X-Men, <laughs> the first one was uh, was good, the second one was excellent, and the third one was crappy for me. I think that they should have, Brett Ratner and uh, Brian Singer sort of switched. That way, X-Men 3 most likely would have been a lot better for me. We would have seen a new Superman in a different style with Rhett Ratner. It could have been good, it could have been bad. Even if it would have been bad, then it would allow people to say, oh, this was the bottom of the barrel, this was terrible, and then we should reboot it. With Brian Singer's Superman Returns, it was more of, a lot of people were like, oh, this movie, eh, it's okay. They were more, more like, it's not bad, it's not good. If we had a really terrible movie, then it would be easier to say, oh, we just got rebooted, it, but it's okay. And I, I would actually prefer prefer if they made a sequel to that one then to reboot it. Um, last comments? Robin. Obviously we all feel the same. Superman franchise does need to be rebooted. Unfortunately with the first reboot of course comes Lex Luthor again. Sorry Mikey. That's okay. But we do need to see give me Darkseid, give me Brainiac, give me Mongo, give me give me Kami. I mean give me Nazis. I don't care. Give me <laughs> something other than Lex Luthor all the goddamn time. We get it. We get it. He hates Superman to a T. What part of that don't we understand? We understand it just fine. Come up with someone that understands, just some screenwriter go out that understands the mythology of Superman and his villains. Bring it back to what it needs to be. Tony? Yeah, I have to say, sorry again to Mike, that if they do reboot it, I think they should have Lex Luthor. But have him team up with somebody, like I said before, uh, to, to bring something new into the Superman. Uh, like Rob says, they need the more villains. I would love to maybe be a, like a trilogy, like the last one be Doomsday and then and then come back from Doomsday. That, that's something I would like to see. If it's done just right. They didn't have a plan. That's what they need is a plan. Yeah. Well, well um, I totally agree with you guys. I ain't going to get my wish. No Lex Luthor in the movies. So I'm a wishful thinker. <laughs> I don't get what I want, but that's okay. Okay, and if enough fans bitch they might get what they want it's not gonna it's not gonna help the situation with the Superman franchise maybe like you said reboot would help so all right everybody that's it for the Madman Mike's rants um stay tuned for the next time when I rant about television on my next rant see you later goodbye see ya till next time Superman